Well, praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. We are back once again for another devotional from Agape Christian Worship Center. I am Minister Jerry Flagg. And I'm Minister Walter. And today we're going to take our reading from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 through 10. Amen. And the topic of our devotional is Speak Life. Yes. Amen. And Amen. as uh, Ezekiel was a priest and a prophet, uh, for the Lord back in the days when he was in captivity in Babylon and he had a vision from God. Amen. So this is what we're going to be discussing in the brief period of time that we have. But anyway, we'll take our reading right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Coming from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together bone to his bone and when I beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then said he unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus saith the Lord God come from the four winds O breath and breath breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 As we see that uh, 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 Ezekiel, he had a vision from the Lord and the Lord took him up by the spirit of God, took him into a place to where he was he was in a field, he was in a, in a plain, and it was a, a, a field filled with dry bones. Hmm. And it says very dry. So that means that these bones were, were very, very uh, withered. They were very, de they were decaying, and they were, uh, they were just lying dormant. Mm -hmm. They were just, just in this place of where, that there was no life. Amen. And, Amen. and that's uh, in verse Three, it says, Son of man, can these bones live? That's what the Lord is asking Ezekiel. And he answered, he says, O Lord, thou knowest. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord God, he's the all-knowing God. He knows everything. And Ezekiel knew that, that it was totally up to God. God can do whatever he pleases. Mm -hmm. So he, he answered God correctly. He said, Lord, only you know if Amen. they can live. Amen. 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 And then in verse 4, and he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, uh, and in 1 Peter, prophesy, prophesy. In 1 Peter verses, uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 20, it says that, that knowing this, that every prophecy of scripture is, has no private interpretation, meaning that man cannot give his own interpretation to it. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 21, it says that prophecy came not by, in the old old times, by the will of man, but by when holy men of God were moved by the Spirit of God mm -hmm. to speak. So prophecy is uh, when you're moved by the Spirit of God, you must be born again mm -hmm. and be moved by the Spirit of God to speak the Word of God, which edifies, which comforts, which exhorts, but also 
the word of God, it admonishes, it, it, it speaks to a current situation. Yes. Your situation, you might be in a backslidden situation. You mm -hmm. might not even be born again, mm -hmm. but the word of God will penetrate your heart Hallelujah. and cause you to, your eyes to be open, your scales to fall off yes. so that you can receive the Lord yes. and know that the Lord God is the Lord God, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, and it also gives future, mm -hmm. future. It, it, it lets you know that if you don't repent, it'll let you know what your future state may be. Amen. Which could be eternal separation from God mm -hmm. or in his eternal blessings. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And in verse, let's see, in verse four, uh, we know that, we know that um, it says in John chapter six, verse 63, the spirit is what quickens. Mm-hmm. The flesh profit in nothing. These words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, as uh, we were reading and I was, I was looking at this, like you were saying, you know, most people, they think that um, uh, prophecy, it only speaks of what is to come. Hmm. But we can see in this instance right here that... Um, Ezekiel, he is speaking what thus says the Lord. Amen. And there Amen. are times in our lives when we need to speak to our own dead situations, yes, areas yes, in yes. our life where we are not Amen. moving forward in the Lord. We yes. need to speak what thus says the yes, Lord. Yes. And what thus says the Lord is in his word. Amen. It's right here. It's Amen. right here. That's why the word of God tells us it's so important to transform our minds because mm -hmm. each and every one of us, we have strongholds within our lives yes. because you know, before before salvation, we lived according to this world. Yes. And even as born again believers, there can be areas in our life where we have not overcome situations. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's just so important that we stay in this word so mm -hmm. that you know we understand who we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And we'll and then it says in verse five. Mm -hmm. It says, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Amen. Amen. Breath because we know that God is God is the life giver. Yes, God is a sustainer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in him all things consist, and he is before all things. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says in Colossians. And it reads uh, in verse 6, it says, I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring flesh upon you, mm -hmm. and cover you with skin, and put breath on you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. and so in other words, God is going to do a restoration. God yes. is going to do yes. uh, a total work in them. Mm -hmm. He's going to make them whole again. He's going he's gonna to bring all the, all the bones together with sinews and, and muscles and, mm -hmm. and organs, and then he's going to put skin on it. So God is going to do a, a total restoration Amen. upon them. Amen. And, yes. and and he says, so that you will know that I am the Lord, that I am, I did it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And then it reads that, so in verse 7, so I prophesied. <laughs> I prophesied. So he was obedient to the yes. Lord. He did not question the Lord. So he did what the Lord said. He prophesied them. He spoke the word of God. He spoke life into Amen. them. And Amen. he said, as I was commanded, I, as I prophesied, there was a noise hmm. and a behold, a shaking a and the shake. bones came together. Yes. Amen. And, and bone to his bone. And when I be, and then it says in verse eight, it says that when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them and above, and they were, and there was no breath in them, though. Mm -hmm. There was no breath. Mm -hmm. And then it says in verse 9, then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Yes. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord of God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Yes. The breath, the ruha, the numa, <laughs> the numa of God, that yes. the, the, the breath that, that he breathed into us when he first made us, the breath that, that Jesus breathed yes. upon the disciples when he appeared to them after his after his resurrection, he breathed the breath of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. into them. Amen. And, and, and we know that it says in Romans chapter four, he says that that the father that the father Abraham 
the, the God of the Father of all nations, mm -hmm. that he says that the God who called those things to be not as though they were. they were. He quickened the dead. Yes. He quickened the dead. Yes. And because God is rich in mercy and love, that's what he does. That's what he does until, Hallelujah. until his, uh, his people. Amen. And, Amen. Amen. And, and then it says in verse 10, 10. Mm -hmm. but before we go there, they were slain. They mm. were dead. Mm. They were at the point to where they couldn't hear. Mm -hmm. They couldn't feel. Mm -hmm. They couldn't smell. They were, they were separated from God, so they had no connection with God. Mm -hmm. So God spoke unto them and, 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 and did a reconciliation. He did a, a forming of that connection. He connected them back to the vine, to the breath of life, to the word of God. Yes, Amen. glory to God, glory to God. And then it says in verse 10, we're almost there. So I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came unto them, and they lived. And they stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Hmm. Saints of God, this is the army of the Lord. Yes, this is, is the army that we are in. Yes, it is. This is the army that God says that, and says in, in 1 Chronicles chapter, um, uh, what is it? 1 Chron Chron Chronicles chapter 12 and, and verse 33, it says that, that the people of the, the army of Zebulun, that they held their ranks and they were one heart, meaning that they held their ranks. So when the enemy, when the enemy shot at them, when the enemy stabbed at them, they didn't, they didn't turn away. They didn't move. They were all, they had one focus, one mind. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's the mind of Christ. And that's the heart that God, the heart of God. Amen. Amen. And, Amen. and allegiance to him. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. So, just like my wife said earlier, we need to prophesy mm -hmm. some things. We need to prophesy some areas that, that's, that's dead in our lives Amen. because the Word of God is telling us to prophesy unto yes. it. We need to prophesy to our marriages. We need to prophesy to, to even our, our, our prayer life, to yes. even our, 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 our faith Study time. in the main. Yes, yes, yes in our prayer time. <laughs> our minds. Yes, we need to prophesy unto mm -hmm. God that in this world situation that's going mm -hmm. on, we need to speak life yes, and not death because yes, it says, in the word of God that this power is power life and death in the tongue yes it is amen and yes, God it and it's so and it says that every word of God that proceedeth out of the mouth of God hmm. shall not return unto him void but it shall accomplish Hallelujah. where he please yes. prosper where he sent it Glory. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 Glory. so we need to prophesy yes. because we need to to stand up in that army of the Lord. Hmm. We need to not be silent anymore. Amen. We need Amen. to go forward. Amen. We need to take back what yes, the enemy has, has taken from us. Glory because to God. Yes. He's, trying to he's trying to take the breath out of us. Hmm. But God is breathing new breath into us again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What an on fire and on time word from the uh, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just want to say in 1 Corinthians 14, 3, it says that, when we prophesy, we speak unto men edification, exhortation, yes. and comfort. And that edification is to build us up for uh, by encouraging each other to trust God and hold on to his prop promises. Exhortation is for encouraging each other to act on what we know from Scripture. Mm -hmm. And it does include correction, rebuking, and reproofing yes. each other by the Word of God and in love. And we are to bring comfort by reminding each other that God yes. is still on the throne, in yes. control, and watching over us. Hallelujah. And you know what? Thank you for that because Amen. I almost forgot a scripture. And it's in 1 Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 14, verse 5. Mm -hmm. And Paul says that, uh, uh, I, I wish that all of you would spoke in tongues, but he said, I'd rather you prophesy mm -hmm. because he said, prophesy, prophesying edifies the church. Yes, it does. Edify, yes, comfort, and exhort yes, the church. So he says, I, I'd rather you prophesy yes. because he says, prophecy is greater. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Speak as the Lord moves you to speak yes. and speak what thus yes. says Only the Lord. Only the word of God and Only as the Lord the moves you to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Well, we pray that you have been blessed and you're going to go ahead and close us in prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. Precious Father who sits upon the throne, the Lord God that, that spoke and it was done and commanded yes. and it stood fast. Yes. The Lord God that that Lord God, that by 
his mouth the heavens were made yes in, and by his breath all the firmaments father god you made them, Father God. Yes, Lord, we give you glory, Father yes, God. You, do, Lord. you, Lord God, you even breathe, you breathe breath into yes, our bodies, hallelujah. Father God. If you thank withhold you, Lord, your God. breath, Father God, then hmm. we would cease to exist. Yes, Lord. So, Father God, we thank you for thank the breath you. of life. Thank we you, thank Lord. you, Lord God, that we can, Lord God, do as you command us to yes, do, Father Lord. God, that we can speak. Father God, we can speak into situations. Yes. We can speak into our relationships. We yes. can speak into our job situations. We can speak into our, our faith situation. Yes, we can Lord. speak into our prayer lives. We yes, can speak Lord. into every dead area, Father God. We can speak into the unsaved, hmm. Father God, that they would they would hear the word of God hmm. and know that you are the Lord God, glory, Almighty God, glory, and repent glory, and yes. be converted and have their sins blotted out, yes, Father Lord. God, in the name of Jesus. And they can turn back to you, Father God. And I pray that, Lord God, that anyone that's been unsaved, Father God, if they hear the word of the Lord and they are quickened, they yes, are they're quickened Quick to you, they are drawn to you, Father yes, God, Lord. that they would they would do so right now and yes. accept Jesus as their Lord yes, and Savior. So, Father sure. God, we give you all the praise and honor, yes, Lord God. We know that you are Lord. the beginning, you are before the beginning and after the ending. You are the Alpha, the Omega, <laughs> Father God. So, Lord God, Almighty God, we know that, Lord, that there's nothing that happens that you don't know about. Amen. So, Father God, we just thank you, Father thank God, you, that Lord. we can rest assured that, Lord God, that you will take care of us. You take yes, care Lord. of yes, who Lord. belongs to you, and you yes, know who Lord. belongs to you, Father God. And, Lord God, give us give us the insight. Give us the, the, uh, uh, the, the will, Father God, to do as you command, Father Amen. God. And, Lord, we give you all the praise and honors. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you all. And yes. until next time. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Welcome everyone to Agape Christian Worship Center's devotional. I'm Minister Walter. And I'm Minister Jerry Flagg. And today we are going to be talking about rest for the weary. And we'll take our scripture reading from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Amen. And Amen. As you get there, uh, the reading will be in red, and that's Jesus talking to us. Amen. Amen. And I will start reading uh, Matthew chapter 11. Verse 28 through 30. Praise God. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that uh, today there is a lot that is going on in this country. And um, I mean, from the COVID to the fight for justice. And as it pertains to the fight for justice, I know that, you know, this fight has been going on for a very long time. And some have just grown weary with it and others yes. are just angry to the point of they're just ready to fight. Uh, but, you know, we just came today to let you know that in our weariness, there is a place, there is someone that we can run to and we can Amen. find refuge. Amen. And that is what Jesus is speaking of right here. Um, before we go into expounding a little bit on some of the words, um, Jesus, he is, he's almost fed up at this point because he has just been dealing with people. They're debating back and forth about who John is and who he is and uh, talking about, you know, John didn't sit with the sinners and he did and all this stuff that is not of any relevance. And so he is just kind of fed up to the point where he speaks these words and he is just looking out at the people who have been burdened, who have been heavy laden, and he is just calling them to come unto him to rest. And in that verse 28, when he says, come unto me, he has given a call to those who are unsaved. It is to the call to salvation. To those who are saved, it is call, a call to come unto him to find the rest and the peace that you need. Yes. When it speaks of that labor there, the definition of that labor, it means to grow tired with toil, um, it is a work that affects our mind. 
And then when he's talking about heavy laden, it's speaking of, in this particular instance, it is speaking of overburdening someone with ceremony or spiritual anxiety. And that's one of the things that um, the Lord had looked out and was so um, upset about is because the Jewish leaders of the day, how they had taken the, the law of the Lord and they had just added to that law and murdered, made it burdensome and cumbersome to the people. Just like in the natural realm today in the world, the reason why people are out and they're protesting and they're fighting is because laws of the land are unjust. For some, it's, 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 it's a, a, a weight, a burden. It prevents them from being everything that they you know, want to be, desire to be. And it's just not given to equality. That's why people are fighting. And then um, when he speaks in verse, he says, come to me and I'll give you rest. And the rest that it is speaking of there, it's talking about a refreshing, yes, to take yes. ease. It's a repose, a state of tranquility. Yes, Jesus is saying that if you are tired, if you are waiting down, weighted down mm -hmm. by the troubles of this world, come to me, come to me. I am the rest that yes, you are yes. seeking after, the rest that you are looking for. And then in verse 29, when he speaks of, uh, says, take my yoke upon you. When he says, take my yoke upon you, he is in essence is speaking of two different yokes. The mm -hmm. yoke he is telling you to take upon you and the yoke that is already upon you. The yoke that is already upon the people, that yoke, it represents bondage and subservience and to be enslaved. But the yoke he is saying to place upon uh, us, he is saying it is his yoke, which is yes. full of grace. It is kind. It's humble. It is not burdensome. It represents freedom Amen. and it represents Amen. kinship and equality. Amen. And Amen. then he says, put this on my birth, my yoke. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Meek and lowly meaning that um, he's not easily provoked. He is not prideful yes. as those that we see are in this world. That's why we're in the state of turmoil that we're in is because people are walking in pride. Anytime um, people are are hungry for, for power, hungry yes, for money, amen. hungry for position. They yes. are walking in pride, and God despises the prideful. Amen. amen. He says, I'm meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. The rest that will ease your mind, the rest that touches the depths, very depths of who you are, the rest where mm -hmm. no matter what is going on around you, you can still remain in a tr in a place yes. of peace and tranquility. Hallelujah. He Amen. is saying in this, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. In essence, find out who I am. Mm. Become more yes. like 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 him yes. in our character and yes. our nature. Yes. When we become more and more like him, we be ha begin to handle things in accordance to how our Savior would handle things. It's not yeah. always easy, not no. lying and making it seem like, you know, everything is peachy king. You'll never get upset. That's a lie from the pit of hell because we are still in this fleshly body and we will still go through some things that's going to make us um, yes, uh, angry, angry upset. and upset. Amen. Yes. But we just have to learn how to deal with that in accordance to what the, the word says. He says that the yoke I have is easy and his burden is light, Amen. meaning that um, it's easy to be kept. Yes. yes. It's not difficult. It's not challenging. Yes. Amen. Did you want to uh, comment anywhere on that? Or? No, you got it covered. <laughs> well, praise Amen. God. Praise you, uh, God. You know, he tells us that... Um, you know, when we are fighting for what is right at times, uh, it, matter of fact, in Psalm 73, 26, it says that it says that our flesh and our heart may fail again, speaking of growing weary and tired to the point where we just don't want to go on anymore. But it says that God is our strength. He is. It says, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. We can look to him. 
for strength. We can okay. look to him for a restoration. Amen. He tells us to cast all of our burdens upon him yes. and he will sustain us. He'll never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. Amen. And God in his infinite and powerful and awesome love, he is as concerned about the unsaved oppressed yes, as he yes. is about his children. Yes. Because God wishes none to be overburdened. He wishes none to perish. Yes. He wants all of us to come to him. He wants all of us to know um, uh, an eternal rest in him when we leave Amen. this earth. Amen. Amen. So we just wanted to say to you today, you know, in the midst of all of the craziness that is going on in the, uh, that if you have reached that point where you are just tired, you feel like you just don't want to go on, can't go on, look unto yes. Jesus. Amen. Run to him. Amen. He is your peace, your tranquility, Amen. your still waters. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Well, we pray that this has uh, blessed you on uh, today. And we are going to go ahead and close in prayer since my darling husband says he was just going to leave this one to me today. Amen. Or did you change your mind to have something you'd like to share? Just just be encouraged. Don't, Amen. don't uh, get to the point to where you want to throw in the towel. Because, Amen. Amen. Because our Lord Jesus, he's he's waiting for you to come to him with open arms. Yes, Amen. he is. And, yes, and he is. renew your strength. Amen. 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 Praise God. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for yet yes, another Lord. opportunity to get into your word, Lord God, and yes, to Lord. be reminded, Lord God, that whenever we grow weary, when we get yes, tired Lord. of the ways of this earth, the ways of this world, yes, Lord God, that we do have a hiding place, yes. and that hiding place is in you. Yes. Lord God, we lift up before you, Father God, all those who are on the front line battle, Lord God, in the natural yes, realm, Lord yes. God, who are out there, Lord God, protesting testing against injustice, yes, Father yes, God. We yes, pray yes. that you would keep them safe, Lord yes, God. Yes. We pray, O oh God, that you would touch the hearts of those whose hearts are, have hardened so mm -hmm. much against you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We pray, Father God, that their hearts would be uh, 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 the, the fallow ground, Lord God, that you would just break it up in the name of yes, Jesus, yes, Lord God, that, God. that they so. would be able to receive, Lord God, to hear a word from you, Lord God, because we know yes. father that hearts can only be changed when you step in yes. when you are allowed in lord god yes. and so we pray for those people lord god that are so full of hate and don't really even understand why they're full of hate it's just something that they have been taught lord god yes. and father god for those who are standing in the gap for, for justice to be served, Lord God, we ask that you would protect them, Lord God, yes. that no hurt or harm yes. will come near them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray for peace in this yes. land, Lord God. Yes. And Father God, we pray for the leadership of this land, Lord God. Yes. First, yes. for those who profess to be believers, Lord God. For you have called yes. the believer to stand for justice and justice alone. You yes. have called the believer to speak out on behalf of the oppressed, Lord God. Yes. So if there be any who are professing to be a believer, who are professing to know you as their Lord and Savior, Lord God, touch their hearts yes. in the name of yes. Jesus, Lord God, that their yes. hearts would be returned to you yes. and away from the things of this world, Lord God. Yes. Father God, we repent of our sins, Lord God. Yes, yes. We repent, Father God, for we have said that this country was founded on you, Lord God, on Christianity, yes. on the principles, Lord God, that you stand for, Father God, but yet we are so far away from you, Lord God. And so we stand in the gap right now, Lord yes, God. Lord we stand, Lord God, in a place of repentance, Lord yes. God that your face would be turned towards us once again, yes. Lord God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Thank we bless you, Lord God. We honor you and we adore, adore you, Father God. And for those that don't know you, as always, yes, Father Lord. God, do continue to draw them oh, by your spirit. Jesus. Send someone to speak to them, Lord yes. God, to plant a seed, Lord God. And then send the water if they do not receive at the first hearing of your gospel, Lord God. Yes. And we pray, Father God, 
at the appointed time that they would give their hearts over to you. Yes. Yes. Lord, it's in Jesus' most holy name that we have prayed. Yes. Amen. 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 We love you Amen. dearly. Amen. And looking forward to being with you again. God bless you guys. <laughs>